Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So glad you guys could be here. I'm Rooster. Right now we're playing some Fallout 4. And yes, Preston has got us to go to another settlement, but this one could be something special. So make sure you guys like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Don't miss out on anything that's coming down the pipeline. Make sure you guys are checking out our lives, usually on Fridays around 5 or 6 Pacific time. Don't miss out on them. Now, this is Mark Lark Water Construction Site. Uh, we're going to see just what kind of crazy stuff they got hiding there for us. So let's go kick it. All right, guys, here we are. We're back here. There I am in my sweet armor. Codsworth walking around in the behind doing his thing. What's up, Codsworth? Now, let's have a look at what we got going here. All right. This is the quest. We're taking point. We're going to the Mark Water construction site. Our Minutemen scouts have been all over the place. They're trying to find as many promising new settlements that we can have. Why? Because Preston has nothing else to do. And Preston knows he is a meme. He said it to me. He's like, I know I'm a meme. All right. Just, I just, it's my programming. I can't change the way I am. So let us go and have a look at what this one is, where it's going to be hiding. I'm actually pretty excited. Why? Because it's something different, somewhere different. It's way, way down we go way down at the bottom of the map all right we're gonna go clear it up because that's what we got to do obviously somebody's down there so they're like yo they're probably gonna be like could you take out some ghouls i saw some ghouls like eight blocks away but really it's on the other side of the map they're like there was a mutants and they looked at me one time can you go kill all of them it's just stuff like that there was raiders like they're gonna send us somewhere crazy but will this be an acceptable settlement moving forward so we're gonna go clean house get it prepped up and we'll go have a little peekaboo at it i'm gonna run down there's vault 88 doing its thing uh we're gonna go from the school and we'll run down into the marsh so let's go to the charter school and we'll make our way down now a lot of these places um i have a bad feeling about there is this chunk of nick valentine well oh, what the hoping to put a bow on for a while now I could use a hand if you're willing to take a crack at it. Okay, not right now, dude. About some other time. Sure. It's waited this long. Okay. Nick, I love him and stuff. He's a great guy. But sometimes these guys come up with their emotional conversations at just the weirdest times. They'll be like, I'm emotional. And then you go to talk to them, and then they're like, I'm good right now. And then you go to the next settlement over and they're like, OK, I'm ready. You're like, oh, come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. Hold up that. Where's my sniper? What do we got over there, kids? The Murloc queen herself. Shit. On a cracker. OK. So. Yep. Yeah, she's uh, going to be a problem. This looks like so. Who the hell would want to live here? All right. Unless you hear music, like banjo music. Why the hell would you want to live here? OK. Shot right in the face. Uh, yep. All right. Run! Get behind the building. Use the building. Shoot her through the door. All right. Suck on! Ah! Oh, fudgicles! Oh, fudgicles. I have a minigun. Okay. So she spits acid. We got to be careful. 
Oh, I should have been paying more attention to that. <clears throat> Ooh. It's going to be a good one. Ah, no. damn it. Nick, is- give, give it a rest, Nick. All right, we got we to gotta head back down. All right, so we'll go back to the school. Fast travel. All right, let's not mess around. Make sure when we get there, what is the main rule of Fallout 4? Oh, hang on. What is Nick trying to... Not now, Nick. How about some other time? Sure. It's waited this long. Yeah. All right, cool, bud. We always be saving. All right? That's the rules. Now, this son of a bee, we're going all out. I'm going to get these grenades set up and ready. I'm going mini gun straight up. Now that we know that it's a queen we got going up against, I ain't playing around this time. I hate Marlas. Unless you get them on their stupid faces, it's a whole other story. So, light them up. Let's go. Gamma shots. Get out of here. Look at that poison, man. It just eats right through us. Suck on this. Huh? Come at me, baby. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Run. Damn it. Suck on a tree. Nick, do something. Oh, almost had her. Gamma bombs all day, baby. Suck on this. Mark Clark dinner. Come on. Yeah. Oh. Ah, uh, of course, a stinger. I don't know where it is. So. I've gone completely insane. Oh, Nick, what do you got over there, buddy? Do we just get the little guys? All right, I can switch over now. Oh, it's just hatchlings. Give your head a shake, Nick. Remember who you're talking to, bub. Now. Let's go see what the queen's got for us. Now, that was a lot of fun. That gun that I was using for anybody who wants to know is a special gun I picked up on one of my... I even have a fat boy or a fat max in here. You should never know, right? Where is it? So this one has, we got this a while back when we were out adventuring and it has the explosive impact doing 15 points of area effect damage. That's why this one lights up and it hits hard. As you saw, you saw that we got it. So let's go see what she's got on her. Couple rounds. All right, we'll just take it all. So it's done with, all right. Now, he wanted us to set some stuff up here. So before you do that, always double check your data. So now he wants us to build and activate a radio beacon. That's right, because he wants people to come live here. Why? I have no idea. I wouldn't want to live here. This looks like just a horrific. Like you can't even get rid of any of this stuff. Like I can't delete any of this. So people are just gonna come, oh, I can get rid of the couch. Oh, that's great. And the one shelf, perfect. Like I just kept a bunch of stuff. Like I can't even get rid of these tree. Oh, these ones can go. Like, it, yeah, the swamp is okay because there's water here. So we're gonna be able to have water access, but good Lord, get some of these bricks. We're going to need like a ton of stuff. That's it. So this is probably the why 
oh, why would I want to set up a base amp? I just don't feel, there's a dead body, guys. Okay. Can't get rid of that skeleton body. I can't get rid of this. Is it holding the roof up or something? All right. Now, I have no, nothing to be able to build a radio beacon, I'm pretty sure. So let's go to power. Pretty sure it's in switches. Nope. Yes. Whoops. No. It's right here. Oh, you'd be surprised the amount of just random sh that I have on me. What are the chances? Oh, God. All right, let's put it here. And one radio or we'll connect it. It's done. Now we go back and talk to Preston. Here's what we do. We turn it off right there. We are going to have some one person is going to end up showing up here. And that means I'm going to have to come back and try to put them into a base that's actually worth talking about. Because this mud pit would be the only cool thing we could do is make like a big circle, like a spaceship type of base that's up in the air. Almost like a medieval tower. I don't know. What do you like a medieval tower? Where's the where's the line? So a medieval tower. So it goes up and we'd have water. But this is all this is all hot garbage and not being able to get rid of any of this irritates me even more. There's already one person here. OK, this is what I'm talking about. It's not Nick. Somebody showed up here already. Well, I'm not building anything. I'm going to leave that table there because it's got fire. Huh. <sighs> okay, let's go talk to... Preston. So he can tell us about all the great stuff. Now, taking down the Marlark, the Marlark Queen is awesome. So we don't have to worry about her. But at the same time, that site, maybe it's a good one. You know, maybe, maybe I'm not seeing the, how awesome it could be. So if you have an idea outside of like well, the idea I just came up with, like building like that tower, a circular style tower. Now you can do that if you have enough If you have enough brick or uh, not brick cement because they have more of the oval shape style and circles yes. in the uh, concrete what do you need general i need you to stop walking around so i can talk to you and set up a radio beacon there that's great news once folks have some place to call their own they'll be willing to help defend it no as usual i have something oh else. my god here he goes i'll mark the location on your map this guy even when I try not to, I just like sometimes just try to be nice and do like one every once in a while, especially if it's a place we haven't been to. Yeah. There's three people at that place. So one out of the three people have been kidnapped. Yeah. Guess what? Good luck for them. I don't do kidnappers. I don't give in to terrorists. Anyways. What do you think of the construction site? Should we build like a tower? And only have, say, like four or five people. I kind of have like a medieval kind of idea kind of struck in my head. Um, it sucks that we can't get rid of those buildings that are there. Because if you could, it would be even it would be it would be so much better to have that kind of idea. With stairs going upside, almost like a, a lighthouse, if if I may, a beacon of hope down in the swamp where people could come only one door. So those big creatures can't get in. That would be another amazing thing. 
we got to protect our people there. And there's a lot of those Marla and swampy creatures, right? So again, let me know down in the comments what you guys think, what we should do. And we're going to start moving forward with that. So until next time, stay safe, keep gaming. And like always, whoop, unlock your rage.